Remember? No. You, you don't have that. Today I'm gonna meet up with Earl to do some work with Ben and training before he leaves. Hi, Earl. What's up, man? I'm gonna show Earl what Ben and I have been working on, and I think it'll just make it easier for Earl uh, to communicate with Ben on the trip since Ben can't hear. We're just trying some enrichment and some training. He is very food motivated, so it actually makes it makes it a lot easier. Right. And it's always a little trickier with a dog that can't hear. Right, right, so, right. Smelling He's trying to energy. flip it over. Yeah. With Ben, since he can't hear, Good yeah, boy. that's good. That's good. I basically started just kind of luring him into a sip by just kind of holding the tree up. Let's see if I can get him to do it without the. <laughs> oh, yeah, he got it. He got it without the tree. Eventually, I'm able to kind of not have the treat in my hand and just kind of hand signal him to where he's sitting. Because he's a small boy. Yeah, he's good. He's good. He's a good boy. With trying to teach him down, he was starting to slowly get it without the treat in my hand, but I still kind of need to use the hand motion since he can't hear, and I'm not able to use a verbal cue with him. So hold it up. Yeah. Yep, perfect. Oh now give him the treat. I want the oh, you want to get? You want the down? Yeah, I want the down. All right. Down. There you go. Good boy. <laughs> Good boy. From everything that that I've seen and learned, there isn't necessarily set hand signals when it comes to training deaf dogs. Since he's into it too, like they could even have fun with it. They can, they can teach him spin. Yeah. At the end of the day, you have to do what works for you and your dog. He's such a quick learner. It helps that he's so food motivated. But also the work has to be consistent. consistent and yeah. I'm obvious it's it's gonna be better when he goes to home because they'll be able to work on it consistently. All we have to do now is load him up and send him on his way. Ben's ready. Then said bye guys, I'm going to a home. Come on, Ben, let's go home. Heidi and I both really love Ben, so we wanted to be here with Earl this morning to load up Ben and say our final goodbyes. This is it. All right, this Ben. Somebody has officially so made your bill. I'm so excited to say bye to Ben, which sounds crazy because I love him so much, but they're not supposed to be here with us forever. This is like a little stepping stone. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Are you excited that you're the one taking him? Oh, yeah, always. Since the adopters have not met Ben yet, there's always a chance that a dog gets to a home when the adopters haven't met them yet and they decide that it just doesn't feel right. I love you, Ben. Do you love me? He doesn't care. He do. He, he really do. He know you put in work for him. Well, we about to move out, man. I don't want to hold right. him up no longer than I have to. Enjoy Ohio. Bye, Ben. Love you. It rarely happens where we get to a home and the dog doesn't get to stay. But you never know. It's first time for everything. All right, y'all. We're all dry safe. I will. Thank you. Let me know how it goes. All right, Liz. There he goes. Bye, Ben. All right, Ben is over with for you, boy. I'm about to turn you loose. So today we are here in Ohio, and um, it's for a good cause, Ben. He's gone to his forever home. All right, Ben, time to get yourself together. Having a deaf dog, it's just like having a dog that could hear. They only hear with their eyes. We are confident that they could handle this, but you never know. So we still have our fingers crossed for Ben. Hello. Hey, Earl. Delivery, delivery. Ah, oh, you brought the delivery. man. Delivery. Today, it's just so exciting. Yeah. How you doing? We have been anxiously waiting. We've been just gone crazy buying him stuff. I'm here. Have a seat. Oh, I'd love to. Just uh, creating a forever home for him. Good to meet you. Sign here. My name is Dawn. Of course, a fan of what Tia and her family do. So I went to their website. Ben was the first dog on there. He's adorable. He has that little mustache under his nose. So cute. As far as his deafness goes, I'm not really worried about that. Ben's deafness is not a disability. It's an exceptionality, and it makes him an exceptional dog. Being around Ben since he 
came to the rescue. He just needs some parents. It's gonna take time mm -hmm. to get him the structure you want for y'all. Yeah. Yeah. And I guarantee you are gonna be like that. We look forward to it. Yeah. Um, being that he is deaf mm -hmm. and my parents were deaf, I have insight into what he sees, what the, what his world is. That's why his bed is over here, okay? So when we're sitting there, we can have that eye contact with him. All right. My initial reaction of the adopter's home, I do feel like they are prepared. They have him toys, they have him a doggy bed, they have him a nice soft crate. But I like to go see the backyard. But my main concern always be with the yard because it'll be a sad thing if we drop the dog off the dead and he escaped tomorrow and something bad happens. So Ms. Till's main objective is they have a secure yard. All this for him? All that's for All him. All that's for him. Oh, my God. 300 feet to the back. Man, that man gonna forget about us so quick. The fence is uh, something that uh, I and uh, with the help of my friends uh, over the last three weeks have installed. This is nice, man. I just want to see his excitement when he realizes that he has all the space. It's not confined to just a kennel. He gonna love being out here. <laughs> when I saw the backyard, I, I tried to make a deal, like take me and send Ben back. Beautiful yard, a lot of space. Oh, sound like y'all ready for y'all package. I love to go get him. So it really made me feel good about that situation. You ready? Huh? Come on. I'm excited. Uh, I'm nervous that he will be sad. Oh, you act like you know when you go. Like missing other dogs, missing New Orleans. I just hope he's OK here. Uh, here we go. Hi. He act like he knew exactly where he was going. Hey. Come around hey. here. Come around here. Come on. Hi. He's Hi. Just yeah, he, oh. he walked up to the front door like, man, don't get me out of here, I'm home. I just feel like just overjoyed. Just so glad he's here. You huh? need to hit the spot, Good I think. boy, that's it. Did I find it? First time I petted him, his, his head just rolled over like he found the spot. This is it, Ben. This is it. Thank you, buddy. This is it for Thank you. Thank you, yeah. We're just really glad he's here. Come on, we're going He's this way. He's gonna be sniffing everywhere. Oh, we're going this way. Oh, yeah. Come on, this way. There you go. I don't need that no more. Good boy. He, he got finished going around the perimeter, and he was up the far corner of the yard. He turned, and he looked at us, and it wasn't so much the expression in his face, it was the expression in his whole body. Come on. That's Come on. He just, just started running. Just to see him be able to just run at a full gallop and to feel like he's finally found that freedom. So isn't that what we all want is a little freedom? Once he caught that eye contact, you like, yep. and he come running. That's what I need to see. Once he called him and he came immediately, you know, he didn't run to me. Good. Good. <laughs> I've been in a car with him for 12 hours. You know, he ran to the adopter, and, and that was a real touchy mama for me. It looked like my work here is done. He know this is it. This is mine right here. This is mine. It's just, we both just felt something's been missing since Roger was gone. And Ben will fill that, that spot. This is the only part that kills me. We've been with him for years. Like, he gonna see me walk away, ain't gonna blink an eye. Like, bye. <laughs> <laughs> you think so? Bye. Well, you know it's always mixed emotions when we get these dogs adopted, because we deal with them like seven days a week. You really can't help but get attached to him. He's gonna get a lot of loving. He's gonna get a lot of caring. He's gonna get out as much as possible. It don't get no better than this for him.